The battery day has been delayed again. Yes, this was confirmed just last night from Elon's latest tweet. Elon Musk said on Twitter that they might do the presentation in two parts, a webcast next month and an in-person event a few months later. I'm quite sure many of you aren't happy with this, but the circumstances are such that this was almost expected to happen. Elon said that the attendance will be very low at times like these when there are lockdowns happening everywhere and people are practicing social distancing for fears of catching the virus. If I'm not mistaken, Texas has now a allowed gatherings of up to 200 people. Correct me if I'm wrong, but 200 people would certainly be on the low side for a Tesla event. I'm not sure why Elon even insists having people attend at this point. Why not just do the whole thing online? I'm sure people would be happy to watch sitting at home rather than waiting another few months. Unless there's something else to it that they are not telling us. Maybe the technologies they want to unveil aren't completely ready for the big unveil yet. I mean, who knows? I'm just speculating at this point, but you have to wonder if there are other reasons behind the continued delaying of the event. I'm curious to know what you think about this so leave your comment down below. There certainly have been a lot of changes since Tesla announced this battery day last year. There's the Cybertruck unveil that happened last year and then a new Gigafactory construction started in Germany just outside Berlin. And last month, Elon updated that the upcoming event will focus just on batteries and not on the powertrain. During the Q1 earnings call in April, Elon elaborated on this a bit further saying, quote, Yes, actually, we don't want to preempt battery day. We want to leave the exciting news for that day, but there will be a lot of exciting news to tell. And I think it would be one of the most exciting days in Tesla's history, and we're just trying to figure out the right timing for that. At that point, Elon did mention that it would happen in the third week of May and that it would likely be in California or Texas. So after the webcast next month, we can expect the in-person event to be held in one of these locations. Tesla has been working on new battery technologies developed by Tesla's internal teams, including work from its research lab in Canada, the technologies acquired through the acquisition of Maxwell combined with the research done by Tesla's own teams are showing promising results of getting batteries that can last over 1 million miles while losing less than 10% of the battery pack's capacity. Tesla also plans to have their own manufacturing line for battery cells and begin mass producing batteries that are not only better than what they have currently but a lot cheaper as well. All this is pointing toward an average battery cost that would be below $100 per kilowatt hour reaching price parity with gasoline vehicles. A few days ago I uploaded a video right here going a little bit more into what we can expect from the upcoming battery day. The information presented in that video is still expected to be unveiled on the battery day. So if you haven't seen it yet, you might want to check it out. The link is in the description and on the top right corner of this video. Again, thank you for watching guys. I hope you've been enjoying my content so far. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell icon to stay notified of my new videos which I'm uploading every Thursday and Sunday. And if you want to show more love and support for this channel and help the channel grow and get better, consider becoming a Patreon member. We already have our first member before I had a chance to announce my Patreon page over here so everyone give a warm welcome to dennis rose dennis you're amazing welcome board and thank you for your kind support all right guys that's it for this quick update for today look forward to my next video dropping on sunday morning and as always remember to keep charging ahead and i'll catch you on the next one stay safe and take care